Welcome to another episode of Buy, Build, Sell. I'm your host, the Los Angeles contractor and developer, Jason Pye. And today we are going to be going through another one of our fantastic builds here in Pacific Palisades. My top five favorite things about this house. Let's get into it. So obviously I, I would be crazy not to talk to you about the kitchen. There were a few things that we really knocked out of the park on this thing. Uh, one was just, you know, the standard details. We have some beautiful fixtures in here. We have a nice uh, pot filler on the wall. We have the beautiful stone that went all the way up to the backsplash. For me, that's a run of the mill, beautiful details that we put into the kitchen. One of the things that I did in this kitchen that I even was hesitant about, scared to do, is the colors. So the colors of the kitchen, we went with the beach glass gray and the white iron on the, the top section. It was a risk that I, I took. Uh, people were definitely questioning whether we should be doing this or just kind of stick with the white oak that we've been doing for a while that's really seemed to work and done really well with but i was hankering to do something else and um not only am i glad that i did it i'm really thrilled with how it comes out i think the contrast of what we got just pops a lot more like the the metal painted black is now a huge pop on these cabinets you can see it on the other end of the, the screen there as well the, the white oak is a massive pop now. It's really shining through on the kitchen. You can really see the bigger elements. The LED lighting in the back is really fun too. But overall, it just gives a much brighter feeling in the kitchen. I'm excited to go back to colors. Not that I'm necessarily going to push away from the white oak. This was kind of a, a trial run for me on playing with colors. And I think that I, I had a really good experience with it. At least I feel like this kitchen brought a lot of character to the table and uh, gave me the confidence to sort of uh, branch out a little bit more. So I'm excited about it. One of the features in the house that are, I think have become a little bit more unique with my brand and what I've been doing recently are these built-in cabinets for the TV room, for the family room. Um, one of the things that I absolutely loved, I had actually done it on a client build I just really got excited about the potential opportunities to be putting these in the houses. There's no reason for the fireplace to be here, to have the TV over the mantle, all that sort of stuff. I just sort of got tired of it. And one of the things that I absolutely just get obsessed over is this little white oak detail that we're doing on these. I didn't do it in uh, the last house. I think we did white oak fully on the bottom and then paint grade on the top and this one i did the paint grade doors as well we did the a nice gold detail to match the white oak and um i just really love how it popped this whole system and it just looks amazing this would not be a video of mine if i wasn't outside talking about the exterior part of the project probably always one of my favorite parts about these projects is the exterior and right behind me, I have a wonderful pool that we put in. This, this is a smaller pool. This pool is about 21 by 15. It's got a Baja, it's got a Baja shelf, it's got a spa. And my favorite part about it is actually the fountain wall that we're looking at here and the automatic cover that we have right here. I'll show you what the automatic pool cover looks like right now. Check it out. Probably one of my favorite features. So keep your pool clean throughout the year. It keeps your pool warm and also just saves on energy costs. And I would say as a parent, for me, this thing is awesome because it is completely child safe. Once that thing is closed, any kid can jump right into the pool and that cover is going to take care of them. Dogs, kids, uh, pool equipment, toys, whatever. It can all roll on top of that cover and you would be safe. So absolutely love that favorite features outside. The next thing we're going to talk about right now is our outdoor kitchen space. So if you've heard me talk about exterior design, what I really try to do is I try to bring the, the feeling of the indoors out, right? I try to make the outdoor section of the home feel complete with the interior, right? You want it to feel like it's actually one home, like there's a connection between the two of them, like you're not misplaced so we're going to talk about the barbecue really fast we have a uh, white we have a white stucco uh, this is a poured in place concrete countertop that we've polished uh, sanded and sealed so it's, it's got a smooth concrete finish on it and it has that aggregated look on it which is really cool the reason why we do that is because it actually matches the hardscape that we do on the floors 
So there's just a really cool uh, connection piece there. We have our Turbo Barbecue, which is a brand uh, from Barbecues Galore. So if you want to find that, you can find that in the link below. And then we've got a mini fridge down here as well. And then of course, the last piece of the puzzle is that dining room, which is right here. So we set up these beautiful tables and this is where you're gonna set up your family to eat and enjoy outdoors. You have the trellis above, which truthfully, they're nice to see and they're nice to have. So here we are in the living room and the dining room. I gotta say, this was a room that I was hesitant about the design of. I designed it, but I, I had a dream about the design. And when you dream about something, you're never quite sure how it's gonna come out, okay? This detail came to me in a dream. And it was a, it was a weird dream that I had about how there was a white, white oak wall in the back and then uh, balusters that came in front of it and just sort of the way that the dimensions worked, it all seemed like this. And I know you can't see it that well from this video, we have white oak on top. Then we have the board and batten design here, which was painted in the white iron. And then we actually put white oak slats. And not only that, we, we installed the whole entire thing without the white oak, because I really wasn't sure if I actually wanted to go through with it. And then at the end, I said, let's just give it a try. So we did a small little sample. Everyone that I asked uh, their opinion on was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Uh, and classic me, I just didn't listen to anybody. I went ahead and did the whole thing and I absolutely love it. So, so I'm very proud of how that came out. I really wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. We are currently in the primary bedroom, white oak back paneling. Uh, we've used this before on like big walls. So I felt like this really, actually this design made the room feel a lot bigger, though it actually is pretty big. I believe it's like 16 feet long. Um, this just made it feel a ton bigger, which I absolutely love. Uh, and then something that I did in this room, not everyone is always a fan of, is this right here. This is a fireplace, but it's an electronic fireplace. Okay, it's actually not real. There's no gas, it's fully electric and absolutely completely customizable and automated. Uh, lights, flame, light, flame, flame, everything like that. Um, I kind of got tired of putting in real fireplaces. People still want to see them a lot, so I still put in at least one fireplace into a house. But overall, we're really starting to push back on installing them as much, really going with these electrical ones. Uh, and I think that the detail of it all still comes out really cool. We still get to do a lot of fun things. Uh, the aesthetic of a fireplace is still there, just uh, changing the actual usage of it, which is okay by me. This one actually is pretty unique itself because. It even looks built in. Normally, electric fireplaces are outside the wall. I don't know if you can see. This is right up against it. So the tile is flush to it and just looks pretty good. The last room in the house I want to show you guys, I promise, this is my number five, is the primary bathroom. And the reason why is because of this thing right here. Anytime I'm faced with a challenge that I can figure out how to overcome, it stays near and dear to me. Like, I just sort of get connected to that thought, that process, that experience of how do I deal with this problem? How do I overcome it? And was my solution something I'm proud of? Or I know I kind of want to hide it away and not really show people or tell people about it. But this is one of those things where I'm actually really happy with how this came out. If you remember, I shot a video on my Instagram where the, the issue was the depth The, the, the difference there, you can see that, right? So this was too short. Right? And if it was pushed back all the way to here, it wouldn't have made the tub. But the tub had to be here because the drain. So we built this floating mantle here and, that, and we were able to pull the plumbing from the back wall to the front of this and get that to drain right into the tub. So it ended up working out perfectly. I'm very thrilled with how it came out. And that kind of 
just ingenuity of, hey, like, let's figure this out. Let's get something that's going to be right. That's really the reason why I love this bathroom today. Uh, you know, the large format tiles are great. The, the vanity style is beautiful. The wall is great. Like, you know, that's a really fun feature for me. Uh, but overall, I mean, even the shower, absolutely stunning. There's nothing, you know, it's incredible. Who's going to complain about that massive bench, the floor, everything is just beautiful. For me, that's going to stick out for the longest time. I hope you guys liked this tour of this house. Uh, if you want to see more of it, please go ahead. Let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment saying hello. And I will see you on the next video.